Hello YouTube family. I know that it's been a really long time since the last time I've done one of my videos. I think the last one that I did was almost four years ago when I gave you guys an update around Halloween as to what was going on with me and my life as a full-time caretaker to an elderly person with stage four dementia. Well, um, Eddie's dad passed away here two months ago and now I find that I have a lot of time on my hands. It's been very difficult to go through what we're going through right now. When you spend 22 years with an elderly person and you equivalent their life to trash bags and boxes to donate stuff because they're no longer here. And having 16 hours a day to yourself has been really hard. Um, still very emotional. We had dad cremated and brought his ashes home. Um, he didn't die from, well, I'm not going to use the word die. Just transitioned over into another life. Didn't have any issues with his kidneys or his liver or his heart. We found out that um, his sudden passing, he had COPD from working in a factory in a kiln factory making toilets and sinks. So he had damaged lungs. Plus he smoked. We found out that the COPD had turned into lymphoma and we didn't even know that he had the lymphoma until he got really bad sick and they did chest x-rays he was losing massive amounts of weight, not wanting to eat, not wanting to drink. Laid around and did nothing but sleep for up to 14 to 15 hours a day. And we thought that it was just part of the aspect of him having dementia. And I used an oximeter on him because of how pale he was. And seeing that his oxygen levels were in the low, eight, low 80s to mid 70s, I knew something was wrong. He went into the hospital. They put him on oxygen. Uh, he went downhill from there and got the death rattles where you have issues breathing. And they just gave him morphine to keep him comfortable. And he peacefully passed away. Um, three days before he passed away, um, the doctor had sent the um, chest x-rays to a cancer doctor. And the cancer doctor confirmed that Dad's lower lungs, about a quarter of his lower lungs were whited out and his upper part of his lungs had uh, tumors on either side that were the size of a tangerine uh, or a, a, a halo orange. And that explains why he kept getting sick. So um, he had told us that he was basically in stage five advanced lung cancer. 
and we didn't tell him. Uh, they had knocked him out before we could even tell him what was going on. And he peacefully passed away. So now that I have all this time on my hands, um, oh, it's not having a routine, not getting up in the morning at seven o'clock because he's waiting on his breakfast. He's sitting at the kitchen table at noon waiting for his lunch. It's just really weird not having somebody to constantly take care of. And it's been very hard for me because the fact that I've been a shut-in for the last 11 years of my life because I haven't been able to go anywhere because of the fact that he had no awareness of danger, no awareness of anything. So, um, once we're done with the grieving process and we have his celebration of life, which is going to be here shortly, I look forward to going back out and doing secondhand videos and doing my witchy stuff to share with everybody because that was one of my biggest joys was going out and taking you guys shopping with me to show you what you could find on a budget. That's the reason why I named myself Thrifty Witch. So I thought I'd give everybody an update and let everybody know what was going on. And for those of you that have been leaving comments and leaving messages and checking in on me, I greatly appreciate those people that have been popping in and asking how I've been doing. It means the world to me that you guys cared enough to actually leave me comments to say, hey, are you okay? What's going on? So lots of lots and lots of love to all of you that have commented and asked about me. And I greatly appreciate everything that you guys have said to me and left messages for me to help me get through stuff so until then lots of love and blessings and uh fall blessings to everybody and i look forward to sharing my content with you guys again blessed be bye everybody